So how do you handle yourself as a man when you have a great connection with your girlfriend when you're in person? There's great chemistry. There's fun dates. And she's a great person to be around. But after the dates are over, you both go home. And she's MIA when you're texting her. She doesn't respond as much. She seems distant and cold. And you're trying to figure out if you did something wrong or if she's talking to somebody else. There's a lot of questions going on. That's understandable. But every time you get together, things are good. You pick up where you left off. She's into you. She's showing affection and she's attracted to you. But after those moments are over, it's back to square one. So what exactly should you be doing as a man when you're trying to establish a relationship, draw closer, and eventually get married? What do you do in these moments? The first thing you need to ask yourself is, is she big into texting? Because some people don't text a lot. They don't really message people. They like their own space. They like their own independence. And she might be that kind of woman, and that's perfectly okay. She might be just really focused on her career and her goals, and she wants you to be doing the same thing. Let's just say she's a manager of a company or the owner of a big corporation. Well, she's going to have her hands full. She's going to be really busy. She's going to have a lot of demands and a lot on her plate. So what you need to be doing is mirroring her behaviors by focusing on your own purpose, your own mission, your job, your day-to-day responsibilities. If you're struggling with anxiety and stress, just stop thinking about it all the time. Focus on what you need to be doing on a day-to-day basis, whether it's hanging out with your friends, spending more time with your family, making sure you have hobbies to work on or business ideas, whatever it may be, stay occupied. Just because she's not responding to you 24-7, doesn't mean she's not attracted to you. She's not communicating that message. Don't freak out. If she's going on dates with you and you're having a good time, just remember those moments and trust her. She might want to create some mystery right now because she's still getting to know you. She wants to figure out, okay, how do I feel about this guy? And she wants to follow her own timeline. If you've gone for a year getting to know each other, you've had a lot of great times together, the connection's great, you both like each other, and you have shared feelings, and she continues not to be as responsive, then maybe move on. I'm not suggesting that she has to reach out to you 24-7 or she's constantly sending messages every single minute or every single hour. That's not what I'm saying. But if she's just at least reaching out, checking in on you, seeing how your day is going, and you guys are having conversations like that, even if it's not a lot going on between text messaging, as long as there's some form of communication, that's fine. Because remember, she might not be good at that. And maybe you're both better talking on the phone. So try to get her on the phone instead of trying to worry about, oh, she's not texting me. She's not reaching out. Don't get caught up in that. Because if she's a manager or if she has a business going on, there's a lot that she needs to take care of. Now, if she's the type of woman who doesn't want to reach out and she wants to play these games and act as if, you know, she can't ever check in on you, then maybe you should reconsider the relationship. Especially if it's been going on for a while, your time is very important. So if you've been trying to make headways, if you communicated this without sounding needy or desperate, and she's not taking accountability, then maybe consider, okay, let's just move on because this isn't working for me. Again, some people don't do a good job of texting back. I'm not a big person who's going to send a long paragraph in a text message or express all my feelings through text messaging. It's just different for everybody. So if she's worth keeping, awesome. But if you're frustrated with it and you've had some conversations without sounding needy and she's still not doing those things that you've asked of her, it's okay to move on. I just think every situation is so different because some people really just don't text a lot and that's not their thing. And they rather see you in person or talk to you on the phone. So just try to understand that and don't take it personal and you'll be good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you dealt with a woman like this and what you did in this relationship. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.